Okay guys, so let's get started. I've already gone ahead and primed my eyelid. And to prime my eyelid, I've been using, um, wait a second. My son like opens and closes the door like he's a grown man. All right, so <laughs> I've lately been using, um, if I could just grab it, I would be able to tell you. Okay, this right here. I've been using the Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Cream Eyeshadow in Champagne Toast lately. And this, honestly, is not a primer. It's just a cream shadow. And um, I actually bought this mark. Um, please hold um, um, eye primer. Oh, wait, you can't see it. There you go. A please hold eye primer. And it just doesn't work at all. I mean, the minute you put it on, it's like it starts to crease and it just doesn't work good at all and I've had this for like two years now and I've never even used it and I decided you know what let me try it like as a base maybe so I tried it as a base and it has a little shimmer and as crazy as it sounds I can actually compare it to um, the Urban Decay um, primer the one with the shimmer uh, It just left my mind. You know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, so I've been using that, and this is really, really good. I've actually used this, and I put it on in the morning. I put my shadow on in the morning, and then when I come back from work at nighttime, it's still completely intact, no creasing or nothing like that. So I'm going to keep using that, I guess. So let's start off. I'm going to start using um, <clears throat> a, shadow, a shadow brush, and I'm going to go into my 120 palette. This is the only color I'm using. Well, actually, it's two colors or three colors from the shadow pa from the 120 palette I'm gonna go ahead and grab the white from right here I've already primed my lid with that um, shadow shadow um, cream shadow that you just saw and I'm just I know the lighting is awful I'm actually gonna hook up my vanity so that the lighting could be perfect for you guys um, with that daytime um, like daytime light bulbs and stuff and then angle it a different way so the natural lighting wouldn't be so strong all right so put some of that white on there and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the white underneath that which is like a little bit whiter I would say and I'm just gonna put that on there and then I'm gonna grab a little more and I'm gonna put it on there too all right I don't want it to be like like chalk white but um, you do want it to be like a nice white color all right so the next color that I'm going to use, you don't necessarily have to use the same exact color. Well, actually, no. I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlighter first. Sorry, I do that because I'm like holding a sneeze. All right, so I'm just going to use my blending brush and my um, Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto my um, like brow bone as my highlighter under my brow. And I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and grab my um, angled brush. Any angled brush will do. I just grabbed the first one. Um, and um, I'm going to use my NK um, single shadow. It's uh, 30, I number 3035. And if you don't have like NK cosmetics available to you, um, this is very very similar let's say I'm gonna say this is very very similar to um, the 120 palette uh, here. I have to I have to show you which one's like the most similar to it all right all right here we go is it is it that one sorry okay so you can either use um, this color from the 120 palette right here you use that blue right there which is very similar to that one so okay let me show you right now all right or <clears throat> you can actually go ahead and you or use um, use this one wait this one from the 120 palette right here okay so I'm gonna show you what it looks like this one in the center um, well, I actually did like a little sweep here. I'm going to do a little more for you to see it. 
All right, so this one right here is the NK Cosmetic, which I'm using. And then these two are the ones from the 120 palette. So they're all like very, very similar on the same family. And you can use that um, either way. The only reason I'm really using this one is because I just bought it yesterday and I'm trying to like test it out. So, all right, so I'm just going to pick some of that up with my angled brush. Sorry, y'all, the racket, all the racket, all the noise. Let's just put it that way. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right here along my uh, my crease actually be actually it would be a little more comfortable if I go ahead and use a blending brush so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my blending brush for that and I'm just gonna put it along here okay this is a really pretty color it has like a little um, like touch of golden like little golden color to it it's very pretty and I don't mean to use like colors I'm not even gonna do that anymore like use colors that you guys don't have because I feel bad like that's why I don't use like um like limited Mac stuff either I never even put those in my videos all right so um next off what I will be using is uh, a blue, the dark blue from NK. Um, it's this one right here. It's just a royal blue, um, and it has a tiny bit of shimmer to it, just a little speck of shimmer to it. And I would definitely compare that one. Let's see. I just want to make sure. Okay. I would definitely compare that one. Ow, my finger. I would definitely compare that one to, let's see, I'm going to double check. Yeah, I would definitely compare that one to this one right here. All right, so you can use this blue um, from the 120 palette. I'm sorry, this blue right here is very, very similar to that one. I'll show you right here. Um, not this one. All right, so this is the one I'm currently using from NK, and this is um, the one from the 120 palette. So you could go ahead and use that. It has a little less shimmer to it, but um, either way, it's it's pretty much the same. You'll get the same kind of effect thing going on. All right, and I'm sorry, I'm just getting my mirror adjusted. Okay, and I'm gonna be using um my angled brush for this, and I'm just gonna pick up some of that royal blue color and I'm just gonna put that on the edge of my crease on the outer corner all right like I said, I'm gonna pick some of these so that I can have um, more natural lighting going on I mean like because I have a lot of natural lighting in my apartment but it's like so flooded by natural lighting that I don't use like um I don't turn on any lights until it's like five o'clock really really but um yeah, and we only have two many windows. There's like a window per room. But it's like, I guess the way um, the apartment is angled, I get a lot of lighting. My blending brush. And I'm just going to fade that. I'm using um, this NYX um, cream glitter palette. And I'm going to be using this white right here. The best, best way to do this is with your finger. So I know you can't really see because my huge claw nail is in the way. But um, I'm just tapping it onto my eyelid. Just onto my eyelid. All right. All right. And that's that's that. So um, now I'm going to go ahead. Um, actually, no. Sorry. One more thing I forgot to mention. I'm going to be using the Jordana um, retractable retractable. Um, eyeliner. Wait, it says easy liner for eyes. I thought it said eyeliner for eyes. <laughs> um, that's Jordana, and it's in Bliss. If you can see that, there we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm just opening it, guys. I'm not eating it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that under my eye, just like that. Just apply on your eye 
And then the last thing that we're going to do is use a little smudge brush and just smudge it out. Just smudge it out like that. And then um, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a little tiny bit of that white that we were using um, for our lid and put it on the inner corner of the eye. And that's it. Hi guys. So I'm back and I've applied um, liner to my top lid, liner to my bottom lid, and also um, applied mascara and curled my lashes. And um, I winged out the aligner just a little tiny bit. It's like a really, really soft wing. It's really thin so again, too. that's what this look looks like. And thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Subscribe is right up here. Bye-bye.